President Cyril Ramaphosa, in his capacity as ANC president, will today be in Mpumalanga as part of a drive to revive the region's branches. The ANC's provincial leadership structure in the region was recently disbanded. The event also seeks to tackle a number of issues affecting the country, including the Zondo Commission. For more on this, Samgela Masego is on standby. Samgela, very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. And first of all, take us through what we can expect today. Well, uh, Simpiwe, the ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa has descended upon the province of the rising sun in this scorching heat in Mbombela, Nell Sprite, to engage with ANC structures after the PEC of the province, which was elected in 2015, was effectively, in some terms, they say, disbanded. But in a layman's term, it was converted from a PEC to a PTT in the province. There have been a number of issues within the province of Mpumalanga. They've branched general meetings. Some of them have descended into chaos. You saw the report by ANC national organizer. That would be Nomvula Mukonyane on the state of the branches of Mpumalanga. Some regions, they had to halt the PGM processes within those regions. They also had to combine Mutabelo region and Etlanzeni region after that region report that was taken out by the suspended secretary general of the ANC of bogus branches when it comes to the politics of Mpumalanga. They've not held a PGC or a conference since DT Mabuza was re-elected as the provincial chairperson in 2015 and this PEC which has now been disbanded to a PTT has been tasked with taking the province uh, to a conference which was supposed to be this weekend on Friday but has now been postponed. But we are going to bring in Zuelo Masilela, who is the spokesperson of the ANC Youth League. Mr. Masilela, Bumalanga has failed to convene a PGC or a conference after the 2017 ANC conference where T.D. Mabuza left as the provincial chair. They were elected in 2015. They were disbanded now by the ANC's NWC. The processes of going to a conference as the youth league, how do you view them? Do you think this PTT, which has been instituted, has the capacity to take you to a provincial conference? Peter Nyoni seems to doubt that. No, well, uh, I think uh, first we ought to understand that the process of uh, a conference is a process of branches. It's not a, pro a process of the, uh, structures uh, such as the PTT or PC. But however, the PEC is tasked with ensuring that such a process goes on properly. And in as far as we are concerned, the branches of the province of Pumalanga are, are, are quite well above the 70 percent threshold required for a provincial conference and we are awaiting a, the national disciplinary resolutions committee or appeals committee to finalize all right we just lost the link there to sam gail masego we'll try to re-establish connection with him in a moment uh, he, okay we go back to Pumalanga now we're in uh, president sir ramaphosa in his capacity as anc president uh, is in that province as part of a drive to revive the region's branches and the anc's provincial leadership structure in that region was recently disbanded we have on the line now uh, our political reporter sam gail masego who is there sam Gelo, thank you so much for joining us so we lost the line to you there and uh, you were in conversation uh, with the provincial spokesperson and in the same breath i'm going to and over to uh, the, the reins to you with the ANC leadership being disbanded in the area. Uh, how does a president intend to revive its branches? Well, Simpiwe, we were speaking to Zuelo Masilela, who is the spokesperson of the PTT of the ANC Youth League. Mr. Zuelo Masilela, we'll just go back straight to him. Mr. Masilela, the president is here, the PEC has been disbanded. After years in office, failing to go to a PGC, you were meant to go to a conference this weekend. That's been postponed due to disputes. How far are those processes of finally taking Mpumalanga to a conference to replace the erstwhile provincial chair, David Mabuza? I think the, the process of going to provincial conference, in as far as I'm concerned, is at its advanced stage because uh, the most basic and important part, which is branch general meetings, has happened. They have happened. They've nominated in the manner they've done. And uh, we're expecting the disputes, which now are, are beyond the, the provincial level, in my understanding. They're at the level of the national disputes and appeals, which will give a report uh, in no time. And then as we await that report, I'm confident that all other processes are, are, are fine for a provincial conference. Uh, the only matter now that is outstanding is those disputes, and then we, we, the, we, we go to conference. As the ANC Youth League, when you look at the state of the ANC in Mpumalaga, how would you characterize it, particularly looking at the violence that was taking place in some of the PGMs, particularly here within the Atlantic region, when you go down to areas such as uh, another area and another region such as Bushpark Reach? 
No, no, I think uh, we, we, we ought to, to, to uh, condemn violence and any acts of ill discipline by members of the ANC or anyone who's rented to come and disrupt meetings of the ANC. We ought to condemn such behavior. But uh, I think as the ANC youth league, we, we, we are calling for calm amongst members of the ANC and to ensure that members of the ANC conduct themselves in a manner that is uh, congruent to, to ethos and values of the ANC, such that uh, our conference is not uh, muddied with uh, uh, ill discipline, but muddied with uh, uh, proper Congress discipline, and so that it's a success. When you look at the state of Mpumalanga, and the politics around your upcoming provincial conference. You've got a young leader in the form of Ronald Lamula from Pushpak Ridge, also from Pumalanga, gunning for the deputy presidency of the ANC. You've got your former provincial chair, the incumbent deputy president of the ANC, David Mabuza. As Mpumalanga and as the youth of Mpumalanga, what posture would you like seeing taking shape in the upcoming conference of the ANC in December when it comes to the issue of both Mabuza and Lamula? No, no. I think uh, we ought not to reduce it to individuals, Mabuza and Lamula. We ought to reduce it to a process of the organization. And that process is that of saying, we were at the time when we go to that process of national conference. As young people, we have an interest uh, on what happens in the conference of this, just like we're having an interest in this provincial conference. And we'll go and, and, and uh, urge our members to go to their respective branches, to go and nominate the leadership that is representative of his future and aspirations, and that we will seek to have a leadership that has continuity, renewal, and, uh, and generational mix. We ought to ensure that the ANC represents a future that is uh, a, 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 a inclusive of young people. So it's a discussion we will take, uh, but we are not reducing it to names, uh, as you are mentioning. We are reducing it to a, a process or a principle of saying that the ANC leadership ought to be inclusive of previous generations, current generations, and all others, so that we are able to have a, a, an inclusive and proper leadership that is representative of ANC uh, uh, membership uh, in, in its entirety. What do you expect and anticipate you will hear from the ANC president at Church on Hill today, particularly looking at the state of Mpumalanga, looking at the, the hundreds of people whom are going to listen to that message coming from your president today? I think the president... Uh, ought to, we expect the president to, to, to give us a, a direction on the assessment of the National Executive Committee on the 2021 local government elections and uh, what is the envisaged position of the ANC NEC with regards to the roadmap towards the 2024 elections because we suffered a huge loss in the previous election and we ought to prepare as early as possible. I'm happy that the processes of conferences are going to be concluded this year so that from next year we gear up a process of ensuring that we are focused only on elections and ensuring that we sustain all the provinces we are governing and the national uh, government that we are governing as it is because uh, we ought to ensure that the ANC remains in power for the future of this country and the people of this country. Will you be nominating unity this year or you won't be nominating unity? Will you be strictly nominating people's names as opposed to what we saw in 2017 of a unity nomination in the branches? We will not nominate. There's nothing, there's, unless there's a name of a person called unity, we'll nominate names of people, uh, definitely. Like we did, we'll nominate names of people. And delegates have done that in this provincial conference, towards the process of this provincial conference. They've nominated names of people. And uh, some of the names, you know them, uh, people have nominated, they are cleared who they want. Uh, we'll just wait till, awaiting for conference to take place. Thank you very much, Zuelo Masilela. There was the ANC Youth League spokesperson speaking about the processes going towards the ANC Provincial Conference with the ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa expected to address the ANC members on Church on Hill at about 10 o'clock this morning where he will be speaking on the issues relating to the 2021 local government elections, the renewal program of the African National Congress, and Mpumalanga, after a six-year wait, finally going towards their provincial conference, where it is expected that Laki Ndenisa will be contesting for the position of chairperson against Mandlan Lovu, who was Didi Mabuza's provincial secretary at the time. You've also got the name of Rifsilwe Mtsoeni Tipani, who is the premier of the province, who also wants to be the provincial chairperson of the ANC in the province, coming from Ngangala region in the Emelasheni area. All right, Samgele, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we'll touch base with you a little later on. Samgele Masego uh, is out in Bombela in Bumalanga, where in, uh, President Sir Ramaphosa, in his capacity as ANC president, will be addressing some of the branches there.